And, and I should say from the, the beginning that if we're in an ecological crisis, which is a crisis to do with the forces in creation that are now working against us, you know, we are interestingly destroying our own ecosystem. We are in this strange madness of a culture, of a race that is actually destroying the, what it subsists on. Um, it's a very strange phenomena that, that you're actually destroying the very ground that nourishes you. Uh, that the very air that you breathe you are polluting. And um, you know, I would have thought from the very beginning that if you wanted to redeem the balance in creation, you should work with the forces within creation which are, of course, traditionally the nature devas. They're very, very, some of them are very, very powerful. They understand the inner workings of nature. Just as, for example, in the shamanic tradition, how were the certain tribes taught the healing properties of plants, taught how to take the poison out of animals? How were they taught it? Not through experimentation, because the plants told them, because the animals told them, because the Spirits in nature told them the magic, the healing properties within nature. There was a, a communication between the inner and the outer worlds that revealed the secrets within creation. And, and paradoxically, we have actually got to this place of ecological imbalance that is becoming catastrophic without any way of communicating with the forces within nature that understand how nature works. So we, are, we have made ourselves blind without even realizing we have made ourselves blind. And, and this is you know, phenomenally stupid among anything else because the, the nature devas are not just about growing big carrots. They're about the very forces of nature and how they work and how they can be healed and how they can be redeemed. But as we forgot, as the divine became transcendent, as the priestesses and all of the culture that supported the sacred within creation were burnt, were destroyed, were eliminated, so the inner world actually receded from our consciousness. It, it, it slowly separated. And I say you can see that in various traces, as I love Shakespeare, he, he talks about it. And the two worlds, the inner and the outer world, became further and further apart. And this is the heritage that we have. This is the, if you like, the, you know, the secret that nobody is saying, which is that the ecological crisis is founded upon a very deep spiritual crisis in creation. It is not just because we are polluting the earth. It becomes from, a very, from a, a very foundational attitude that we have in our culture towards creation, which I say an indigenous person would never even consider because for them it was our mother, the earth. The earth was sacred. Everything in the earth was sacred. And if you have that attitude of reverence, then you wouldn't treat it in the same way. We have decided particularly in the scientific revolution, rev revolution, that the earth is just a thing. And they actually did this very consciously in the, in, in, in the 18th century. They said that, for example, animals cannot feel anything, so it is okay to do whatever experiment you'd like upon an animal because it cannot feel anything. And that is just an example of the attitude that underlies what is happening. 